This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we are going to talk about where to get the lion and mammoth pets. Let's get to it. We're going to start off with the lions. There's two versions of the lion. There's the normal lion, then there's the greater lion. They look pretty much the same except for size difference and HP. The base lion has 4,042 HP and the greater lion has 8,265 HP. They can be found right here on the map right there at the line between A and B at row 10. And uh, there's a lion right there and there's two little cubs, one right there and one right there. If we pick them up, we'll pick up this one here and you can see it respawns right there and we pick this one here up and it should respawn right here. They wander pretty far from the parent here. So if you come up here looking for them, uh, look around the whole area here. We'll just kind of watch them for a second. You can see they wander, they should wander all the way up to like down to here. They can wander like this far and then they'll just kind of stop and derp up. But uh, yeah, they can get pretty far from this initial spot. This is a mini boss here. So if I give it a give it a whack here, you can see it's got 3000 HP. So be careful of that if you're not uh, high enough level to deal with that yet. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. There's just one spot. There is another spot over at Swagger Rock where the there is a lion boss like here or a lion mini boss like here, but there's no cubs around it. So that is over here if you're not familiar with that. Like right on the tip here, there's a lion laying similar to like it is with this rock here, like on the tip of the rock. And uh, there's no cubs around there. So if you see that lion and you're like, oh, there might be cubs around here, there's not. So far on my server, this is the only place that we found for the lion cubs to spawn. By the way, if you want to join my server, the link for that is in the description. As you saw, they eat a random plethora of meats. I've had pretty good results with these meats here, the exquisite meat, the exotic flesh, and the raw pork when it comes to getting the greater version. Their preferred thing is the savory flesh because they eat the shade, shade spice raw succulent meat, which is made from the savory flesh. However, I wasn't having very good results with this and my results with the shade spice raw succulent meat was pretty much the results that I was getting from these three meats here. So I'm just going to run through this a couple of times and show you the results that you'll get when feeding this. You should get about one out of every five most of the time. Sometimes it's one in ten. So we'll just drop the uh, the exotic flesh over there. Forgot what it was called there for a second. You can see we got one out of five it was a greater one. We'll do this a couple more times here on this one. So we'll just ship that over there. Oh, I missed one. Let's do one more. Nope. So see that time we didn't get any. That was one, one in 10 that time. So we'll do it again here. We'll put five over, throw it over there. Well, wow. Having terrible results with the exotic flesh this time. Most of the time it's one in five. All right, we'll swap it up. We'll do the exquisite meat. Oh, three that time, three out of the five. That's insane good, but don't let those results fool you. Pretty much most of the time, it's going to be one in five. So we'll, we'll do it one more time. See, there we go. We only got one in five that time. And we'll do one more with the exquisite meat. And there we go, one in five again. Now I've been doing this test a lot and it's pretty much the same every time you're going to get pretty similar results with any of these meats here. See one in five. I'm just doing this so that you can see the actual like results of what you, you will get. So you know what to expect when you try this for yourself. I recommend saving up five cubs and just doing five at a time. That way you have a pretty good chance. So there you go. One in five. Cause if you're just doing two at a time, it's going to seem like it's going to take a lot longer then uh, it would be if you just do five at one time and throw the food in there. So that time we didn't get any. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the results with the shade spice. It's pretty much the same. So we'll just do the shade spice now. See, we didn't get any with the shade spice that time. And shade spice stuff is supposed to have a higher chance. But from what I've seen when I looked at the dev kit for the shade spice stuff, uh, it was not that much higher. It's like a very small percentage. So once again, we didn't get any. So we're at uh, 
zero out of ten so far on shade spice okay so there that time we got two out of that so that was 15 we got two out of 15 with the shade spice there and now we'll do a couple of the savory flesh we got one out of five on that one we'll do the savory flesh again and we got zero out of that one we'll do the savory flesh one more time since that's supposed to be their preferred food and then we got zero out of that one so see i like i just get terrible results with the savory flesh and the results that i was getting from the shade spice are pretty much the same results you get from using the exotic exquisite or the raw pork so that's pretty much all there is to the lions there feed them any of these meats uh unless you have an abundance of shade spice shenanigans and what you're after is the shade spice raw succulent meat which is made with the savory flesh and then uh, you can feed them that uh, but any of these should get you about the same results to get you the greater lion okay so now let's talk about how to get the mammoth there are no mammoth babies you have to use elephant babies elephant babies can be found up here in the savannah region if you take a look there's elephants here and the babies can just be found around these elephants up here there should be some babies around here someplace yeah here we go here's babies so baby elephants just walk over here in the savannah area i am right here and uh you can just snatch those up so they're just you know around this area up here but you will definitely find them right here so you're gonna need a ton of elephant babies because it's a super super rare chance to get the mammoth so your best bet for the elephant is bark that's going to be your cheapest if you want to do the shade spice bark that will work as well but once again it's not that much of a difference we'll throw some shade spice bark in there and uh, you can see we got one greater elephant and then a bunch of normal elephants and that is going to be the situation most of the time even when feeding at bark so we'll do five more once again one greater bunch of normal elephants and you just got to keep doing it it's a very very rare chance we'll go again okay so there we go we got a mammoth out of that one what was that like 15 that we had to do there and it's pretty much the same results if we do the bark so we'll do five in there pop the bark in pop the bark out wait oh look we got a mammoth on the first go that time don't let those results fool you at all uh just because we got a mammoth that time we just got lucky they're very rare we'll do it again here and you, you'll see so see that time we didn't even get a greater one on that one so this is one of the situations where that little bit of extra chance to get the greater version if if you do get the actual like extra chance with the shade spice bark is going to be worth it otherwise just feed them tons of bark so i'll run a few more through here just so you can see the kind of results that you're going to get so we'll do some more bark and we got a greater elephant out of that one but no mammoth and we'll do five more i just do this because it gives you a good idea of what you can expect when you're playing once again we didn't get anything on that one as you can see it's it's a luck game they're they're super super rare to get them but you just got to keep putting baby elephants in there nothing out of that one let's do one more with the shade spice and see what we get out of that okay so see there once again with even with the shade spice we didn't get a mammoth so it's about one out of every 20 25 or so you're gonna get a mammoth whether you use the shade spice bark or the normal bark that's pretty much your results and this guy weighs in at 8265 and if we take a look at the other elephants here we have 3610 and then we have the white one at 3610 so i guess this is the greater version of them so it it the 8265 so yeah i mean your your chances are much rarer on getting one of these than it is for a lot of the other pets i guess because there's like so many different versions but i find them just really really difficult i mean look at all of these here that we went through and we got what two mammoths no we got three three out of all of these here that we did on a combination of bark and shade spice actually got us the greater version of the elephant because these are essentially the the same 
because they have the same HP, which I think is kind of dumb. 3,610, 3,610. These being bigger should actually have more. They should be probably in the 5,000 rank, I would think. Uh, if these have eight, uh, just makes sense. I don't know if that's a bug, if that's something they just forgot to change when they added in the mammoth. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Just you're, You just got to grind at it. I recommend just feeding them bark. I really don't think it's worth going to get the shade spice when it's going to be a grind either way. And you can get the bark pretty easy and uh, have just about the same chance. Now, like I said, if you have a ton of shade spice setting around, then by all means, use it. Because any little bit is going to help you. But either way you go about it, it's just going to be a massive grind to get the mammoth. All right, and that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my league crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.